New Yorkers are the pioneers when it comes to health initiatives, and that's what's brought me downtown to Baby Cakes, New York City. Emily, can you tell us why Baby Cakes was first created? Sure, the owner of the bakery, Erin McKenna, wanted to create somewhere where people with food allergies um, or food sensitivities could come and just, you know, pick from anything on the shelves. Perfect, so what kind of things, like, so there's no dairy, there's no wheat, there's no refined sugar, what have you replaced them with? We use rice milk, yeah. and for sweetener we use agave nectar, or unrefined yeah. sugar that keeps things really sweet. Oh yum, and what's your all-time favorite thing at Baby Cakes? We just started making um, gluten-free, no-fry donuts. So we have a chocolate dip baked oh, donut. Oh, yum. Really Next stop, Brooklyn, where we meet Aussie girl Laura, who shows us why using real ingredients makes for the best tasting ice cream. Hi, are you Laura? I am Laura. I'm here to check out your amazing ice creams. Can I come and have a squeeze? Of course. Yeah, I'm cool. awesome. Get the camera in there, look at that one. That looks like a minty choc chip or something. Yes, that's our oh, thank mint you. chip, but it's not green because we don't use any colouring. Oh. Um. Oh my goodness. Isn't that so nutty and toasty? Uh, I'm not a pistachio girl, but I love that. Uh-huh. Well, that, you guys have got to try that. That is amazing. <laughs> Should we make a Lola Berry special? I think so. I think that's a great idea. All right, idea. you surprise me. You go to town. Sure. We make our own vanilla extract. I age Do you? In, yeah, we age organic bourbon and Tahitian vanilla beans, which is both strands of vanilla, wow. in oak barrels in vodka for four months. Oh, And then we grind wow. it into a paste and fold it through. So it has a complexity that you wouldn't ordinarily get from a vanilla ice cream. Absolutely. And now we'll give you some of our... Michelle Cousel, hot fudge. So you make this fudge yourself? Yes. This is Mrs. Mrs. Fudge. <laughs> Alright guys, here comes taste test time. This looks absolutely amazing. Okay. I think it's better in it. Oh my goodness. That chocolate fudge is heaven. It's so good. It almost kind of solidifies a little bit on top, but it's still soft enough to kind of melt in your mouth. Awesome. All right, just in case you guys don't believe me, I am going to put this to the test and get somebody else to taste it. That way you'll know I'm definitely not lying. Can I get you to taste this ice cream? It's all homemade, hormone free. Yeah, go for it. Okay. I don't even like chocolate, but this is amazing. Really? Yeah. Oh. It's so creamy. Awesome. Mm. There you go. We get a thumbs up. It's unlike other ice cream I've had. So if you could sum it up in a word or two words? I'd have to make up a word. I'm not sure what Go it's... for it. Make up a word. Like, Skeltrulium. Nice. That was good. Here's a hot tip. 80-20. 80% of the time, eat healthy, nutrient-dense foods, and 20% of the time, treat yourself. That way, when you do treat yourself, you can be sure to be 100% guilt-free. Next episode, the mad world of freegans and dumpster diving. That is a perfectly fine cucumber. Proudly empowered by Endeavour College of Natural Health. Check them out at endeavour.edu.au.